Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edit Care. Today I have brought another session on desktop GUI automation using Pywin Auto. In this video, I will be showing you how to extract the contents of text present in the edit boxes and all the uh, items, all the combo box items from a GUI application. So let us see how can we do this. So in this application, in this login window, if you see, I have a combo box with uh, some list items, SFTP, SCP, FTP, WebDev, Amazon S3 and then we have some edit boxes for host names uh, this I have already filled access key password is something then uh, port number so now I want to extract this contents how to do this let us see first of all we need to import the module pywin auto then for delay time then from pywin auto the application import application so in this case I already have the window open so I will not have any code for starting the application just I will have it for connecting to that window so app is application dot connect title is equal to login then we'll wait for some time time dot slip five seconds then we'll be bringing that window to focus in the foreground then uh, this is nothing but uh, since that app dot login is very big so we'll make it a shortcut with uh, with the class name of the window t login dialog okay now let us First of all, we need to get the identifiers, right? Because we don't know what control names or control types are those. So I will be just uh, comment it out. First, we need to get the print control ident identifiers so that we can get the control types of this each uh, boxes. Let me run this. So if you see in the background, I am getting it is printing all the control types available in this window. Okay. Okay. So normally these are all edit windows actually. So uh, edit one like it, 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 it you will have lots of uh, combo boxes, uh, lots of edit boxes. So if you see here, you have one, two, three, four, and. Uh, so there will be like almost uh, from edit zero. It will start from edit zero. Like if you see, uh, yeah, edit four, edit five, edit three, edit two. So these are all one one. This is for password edit. So this edit two is for password edit, right? So this edit two, if you see, I've given a password edit. So edit two is password edit. Then edit four, edit four will be your uh, host name. So it will do nothing but uh, edit four, right? Last name Amazon title C edit so edit four if you see this so you can figure out you can figure out uh, the title is s3 Amazon dot com and then uh, T edit so you need to figure out like with this edit four edit five there will be many edit uh, there will be many uh, edits will be there but you need to figure out uh, which one is uh, fitting for which boxes so you need to get all and you need to try one by one and you need to see which is fitting for what okay. Then uh, once that is done, so now uh, from this I from that I came to know like edit one. This edit one is for port. This edit one is for port. Then uh, edit four. Edit four is for host name. Then edit two is for password, and edit three is for username. This username or the access key. This box. So once. Uh, this how you will get so x is equal to window dot you uh, edit on edit dot window underscore text this is the one to get the content of the items present in the content of the item present in the edit box once you get it we will just print it similarly for y i have this uh, window dot tag window underscore text and you will be printing that so this is how you will be doing for the other things now next is like to do the combo box okay so you should always remember uh, the items available inside the combo box are available in the list format so, so this is a list actually so the items available in the combo box are in the list format so first of all you cannot 
get this list until unless you don't click on this on the combo box so i'm going to do it like window dot combo box two dot click okay normally if you put combo box also dot click it will click this but what i have found like there is another combo box i think you should web dev uh, if you click this web dev right so there is another combo box so both are having the same name combo box combo box so to define both are being uh, means uh, both will uh, interact with uh, if you select if you type combo box so instead they have different different names like combo box combo box 1 and combo box combo box 2 this one so i will be using combo box 2 to get this defined okay so once it clicks it will come out right if there's a list will be formed so this list will be accessible now here i have defined uh, i equal to uh, 0 then uh, since i know there are five items are there so i less than equal to 4 so 0 to 4 means so it will be taking five then window dot combo box select dot two dot select i so every time uh, whenever it uh, every time it should highlight so it should select this item so zero means it will select this item and then window underscore text jet three is window dot combo box two dot window underscore text so this particular keyword will be extracting the highlighted text so if once it selects this so it will highlight that once it selects this it will highlight this so it will be select once selected it will highlight that and once it is highlighted we will be printing that item and then i plus o equal to 1 so i incrementing by 1 every time so let us uh, run the code and see so it's connected so if you see 0 1 2 3 and 4 now if i see the printed item so it is printing port is 443 port is 443 and host name is s3.amazonaws.com so this is here then access key is traffic password is uh, since it is not uh, visible here but you can view it here whatever it's typed host name is s3.amazonaws and password is this and uh, the username here so this is how and the sftp scp ftp web different so this is how you can extract the text or contents from an edit box and also the list items from the comma box hope you have got this uh, hope you have got some idea on this video if not you can always reach out to me at my email address that is rafikjavet2 at gmail.com and if you have liked my video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching